Okay. Shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Koloyim la yehawa bashim yawashai bahashim rakha hakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to the Akim and Akwaf. That's all here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. Zachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edified by the Spirit. And um, yeah, this is, you know, one of the reasons the brothers go off into these lessons to, you know, to, to let you women know to just keep silence, man. Keep silent in the churches, man. You're not supposed to be trying to teach the scriptures, man. You're supposed to be submissively learning from your husband if you have one. Or, you know, from the brothers, if you, you know, you're looking at the videos, but you're supposed to just be quiet. You're not supposed to be on no videos, you know, trying to tell everybody about the scriptures when, you know, it it is it's not meant for you to do that. And you can be destroyed doing that because you're going against a commandment or a precept of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I wanted to get into this. This the brother, um, a few brothers kind of been going into this, but it's always the nigga woman that's trying to save the so-called white man. This goes perfectly with Eve and the serpent in the garden, man. And Eve wasn't talking to no damn snake at the pet store. You can go to a pet store to this very day. You think a damn snake is going to be talking to you at the pet store? See, you have to get the understanding of that was a man that, that was, you know, that was speaking to her, man. And he came to her because he understands that the woman doesn't have that wisdom like that. You know, they see things there, you know, they, they get glorified by it. You know, they're, oh, that's so cute and all that other shit. You know, they're, they're emotional. They get into their feelings. And he understood that. Why don't you think that the serpent walked up on Adam with that shit? You see, he didn't walk up on Adam and was like, you know, um, did the Lord really say that you couldn't eat of the, you know, you no, know, the Lord didn't surely say you would die. No, he wasn't running up on Adam with that, man. He ran up on this woman, which should have been like, hey, you know what? You need to talk to my husband. You need to talk to my man about that. Here you go out here ho having a whole conversation. But hey, but that lets you know when, hey, when you look at TV and you see shit on the news and if there's a man involved, like say, like, for instance, one of these Jake gets shot and killed and. and, and they're on the news talking and a news reporter is asking questions. Who's doing all the talking? This so-called nigga woman, man, it never fails. And that's even if a man is there. But the serpent told you you didn't need a man. Now he's got you in these single family households trying to raise three, four, five children by three, four, five different dudes. That's the serpent's plan that you that you out here with multiple babies by multiple niggas. And, and, and you took to that. That's the reason why the Lord created you to just chill, man. He, he created the Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai is the head. Yahweh is the head over the over Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the head over the man. The man is the head over the woman, and the women are head over the children. There, there's an order to this thing. So when you have shit out of order, that's chaos. That's why these families, our family structure, is 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 fucked all up, man. Because the women are not playing their roles and the men are not playing their roles. And guess who set that up? The serpent. Because he understands that if the, if the thing, if the man is playing his role in the household and the woman is playing her role in the household, then that's order. He doesn't want order. He wants you out here with your pants sagging. He wants you chicks out here twerking. He wants you out at the club at 2, 3 in the morning, mollied up. This, this is the serpent. You see? Well, let's get some of this video real quick. I'm just going to get a quick little insert of, of what she's talking about. And it's always the nigga woman, man. Golly, boy. They go hard for Massa. They go hard for Massa, man. Read the Bible in its entirety. Paul, perfect example, Paul was an Israelite. In Paul's ministry, like 95% of his ministry, if not 99% of his ministry, consisted of preaching to who? The Gentiles. There we go. <laughs> See? And I'm just going to stop right there because there's plenty of um, spots in these videos. You know, my, the brother was going through it and he was stopping and pausing and going into scriptures. But you know who she's talking about with the Gentiles? Now, she knows she's an Israelite, too, in this video as well. She knows she's an Israelite. She speaks of the covenant. She's like the Lord hasn't put his people to the side, but everybody else can be saved, too. 
When the scriptures, that's not what the scripture says. You see, and she didn't bring out not one scripture in this video, actually. She didn't go to the Bible and say, well, such and such, such and such says this. She's just speaking her mind, as usual. Speaking her mind. Don't know what the hell she's talking about. And you can be destroyed for stuff like this, man. Now, let me just go into the... um. Because there's no such thing as, 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 as the Lord is coming back to save the, the very damn heathens that, 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 that have demolished his, his people. The Lord wasn't trying to save no damn Romans, man, when he was on the earth. He never tried to. He never talked to Pontius Pilate like, hey, you know what? You need to repent or Herod. He, he never talked to none of them about repentance. You won't find that in the scriptures, man. You see? Let's go to Matthew real quick. Fifteen and twenty-four. But he answered and said, "I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel." And that's a straight cut, man. That's that's Jehovah Shai speaking in red letter, telling you who he came for. And when it comes to the Gentiles, you have to understand the history of the of, of, of our people being in, in, in captivity to these other nations, man, and becoming like them. That's what that word. See, they don't understand the word Gentile. They don't understand that it's two sets of Gentiles. They don't understand that these nations that had the Israelites in captivity are heathens. And, and, and they had them in captivity for so long that the Israelites were actually starting to be and act and speak and eat like them, which made them heathens or Gentiles. They was living Gentile cust They was living the Gentile customs of these heathens. See, that's why when you get the Jews, the circumcision, Peter. Which he was sent to, he, you know, those were Jews that were always keeping the law, statutes and commandments. They were still going to the synagogue. But you had the Gentiles, the Israelites that wasn't going to the synagogue. They wasn't keeping the law, statutes and commandments of the Lord. They was eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, getting tattoos, looking crazy as hell, long ass hair. You know, just they, they were all outside of the law, statutes and commandments, but they were Hebrew Israelites. That's who Paul was sent to. Paul was sent to the, the Gentile Israelites and Peter was sent to basically the, the, the circumcised Israelites that were already they already knew that they were Israelites. And then there are points. That's why you have to read the Apocrypha and get the history. And, and, and you'll see that there was a point where it was unlawful for an Israelite to call himself an Israelite. It was unlawful for them to circumcise their children. They were being killed. They was act these so-called white people was actually hanging the women and babies if they found out that you circumcised your little boy, man. You see? Why would the Lord be coming back for the very same people that had all the, the, the children, the boys rather, two years old and downward? Even he, this guy even tried to kill the Lord, man. He had, he he put out a decree. To kill all the two-year-olds, basically, because he knew about what age Yahweh Shai would be when Joseph and Mary, they went into Egypt and all that. He sent out a decree. You know how many Hebrew Israelites died? You know how many babies? And it's no different today with their abortion systems and shit. But this man knew that Yahweh Shai, the king, was on the planet. And he was trying to kill yeah, baby Yahweh Shai, which the world even calls Jesus. So he's coming back to save the very people that, that, that have done this over and over and over again. The very people that have destroyed this planet. And she's really in this video sympathizing for him, man. That's why it's so important for you women. Hey, just chill, man. Just chill. Here you go. It's another set of um, 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 young ladies. I think I've done a video on it yesterday or the day before. They talking about Esau is not the white man. Sitting in their car doing lessons like they, you know, brothers on the highways and byways, man. And they've been doing videos for quite some time. But the Lord is going to destroy them, man, if they don't repent. They are not supposed to be out here trying to teach these scriptures, man, to other men, man. And matter of fact, let's just, um, and I'm not going to keep this lesson long. Because it was Eve that was, but she got beguiled by the enemy, by, um, by the serpent, man. It wasn't um, Adam. She should have been like, hey, look, I don't talk to uh, or ignore his ass altogether. I don't hey, let me go. You can speak with my husband. No, she's out here. 
and then come and come pass on that wicked ass philosophy to the man. And we are fucked up as a nation of people, man, when it comes to the, the order in the household. If there's a man there, he's a wimp, man. He's a real wimp simp. The children running all over him. He can't tell them what to do. He's trying to tell his 12-year-old daughter, you can't wear that because it's too provocative. What the nigga woman do? Ah, oh, she, a, she, a, she a girl and she growing up and, you know, it's going to always be that, man. Like, for real, for real. Well, let's get the, um, let's see if this would, uh, first Timothy 2 and 11, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Now she, this girl, she, this lady, she mentions the, the commandments following the commandments, but you think she keeping this one? She's trying to tell you about how the Lord loves everybody and tell her, yeah, you keep all you got to do is keep the commandments. But she's not keeping the commandments. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. You tell an American woman some shit like that or any of these women that have gotten drunk off the Babylon juice, man, serpents, the serpents juice. See, the serpent, he doesn't want, he doesn't like order. He, he's out here to, to cause disorder. And that's one of the most disorderly things that you can do with a woman yapping over her man. To another man at that. You see it all the time. You see it all the time. That's just like the brothers will be on the highways and byways teaching the scriptures. And it'll be, it'll be a couple walk up. And who's doing all the talking? The man got to walk her ass off because she ready to fight. Come on, honey. Come on. He's not going to tell her, hey, look, you out of, you know, chill. You, you out of order. Let me speak with these men. No. Jake's standing there looking crazy as hell, man. It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. But you think that Eve was first formed and that we came from her. The way the, the, way the world is running. And see, the so-called white man, he understands that. That's the damn serpent, man. He's the serpent. Him and his, his, his Babylon Jews. He's the one that's telling, the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, saying that, hey, it's okay for your little boy to be a little girl. The Lord didn't say that he would surely die. But that ain't what the scriptures say. The scripture says their blood shall be upon them. It is, it's an abomination to the Lord. This man is pushing all kinds of wickedness and our women are falling for it. That man said, hey, look, you kick that nigga out of the house and we'll take care of you. No, you surely you don't need a man. We're going to give you Section 8. We're going to give you food stamps, Medicaid, Medicare. We're going to take care of you just fine. You just don't let that Negro come by. See? The serpent beguiled her ass good with that one. And now the women are out here struggling because why? Those food stamps are not stretching like they used to with this damn inflation. Now they need a man. Now they want a man. And it's going to get even worse to the point where you, you're, you're really going to want one. Because you still got some, 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 some high-minded ones out here that's still like, oh, I don't need no nigga. All right, we're going to see. Verse 14. And Adam was not deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. See? Who was deceived? The woman. That's why she should have shut the fuck up and said, hey, uh, you, or, 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 you know, she had to say nothing. She should have went straight to her husband. It's a motherfucker out here trying to talk to me. Let Adam come out. There. Hey, what you talking to my wife about? What you want? What you want to know? You don't speak to her. You speak to me. You see? And we're going to come back into our power, man, where, where everything is going to go back into order. You know, this is all just a, you know, a part of the prophecies in the play out, you know? Okay, it says, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So you women are going to be saved in childbearing, man. But you have to get in order. The Lord is not with no disorderly shit, man. You think the Lord, the Lord is not dealing with this, 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 this lady, man. 
first off, you teaching that you trying to teach the scriptures and, and, and you're going off by adding to and taking off, taking away from them. Because if you do that, the scripture says that the plagues of this book will be upon you, man. And one of those main plagues, man, is, is craziness, madness, man. You see a Jake out here, man, just bugged all out of their damn mind, man. They used to be OK. And then you just like, but well, damn, what happened to him? Or what happened to her? Bug the fuck all out, man. Demons on them. You see? So it's coming to a point, man, where hey, hey, now is not the time. We need to be trying all our hardest, man, to, to try and do the best that we can to be pleasing to our Lord, man. Because hey, th th there's real, <laughs> real scariness going out right now, man. Jake is being 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 judged on, on, on a level that that hasn't ever been seen, man. And it's going to get worse because the Lord is going to start knocking off people by the thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Man, hey, look, it, the nuclear wars about man. Look, we are at the end of this thing, man. It is high time to awake out of sleep. You need to repent. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of our father and our savior, man. And he's only coming for the Israelites. He's not coming for no damn heathens, man. The Lord is not coming back to save the Russians, the Ukrainians, these so-called white people in America. These damn Chinese, these Japanese, he's coming to destroy those people because they are enemies of Israel. Come on, man. Get it together, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.